Hey all, Russ here. Good morning. Welcome to RVR TV. Well, gonna get started on this van here. Look at the blue sky. Big storm coming in tomorrow. There's the missing seat. That's gonna be so nice having that seat out of here. Anyway, I thought I'd make the dash mount board today. Get that going. I'm going to modify it so the cell phone, iPad, and radio will mount there. Having the iPad there is just priceless. I mean, uh, I can operate the cameras. What I'm really needing is the iPhone and the radio mounted there as well, too. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this old mount. I just had it fastened in there with screws right into the plastic which is old van I don't care it'll be much nicer when I'm done anyway having a wood mount there as for the drink holders really don't even care about that either I rarely use them they're just another place to get junk collected in <laughs> Okay, this is an old piece of plastic I had laying around. I'm going to cut her up and make her fit. <laughs> you can see it fits flat. Should mount good. I'm going to draw a little line here. I'll make a little bit of a curve, make it fit up a little bit better, a little tighter against the, that curved deck section here. And I'll cut the width. It's looking good. Get a little bit centered. Then that'd be perfect. I'm gonna paint this too. It'll be painted black. Right about there. Forget that mark. <laughs> then I'll take a little chunk out right through here. Make a little curve. Kind of freehand it. That should be good. All right, I'll go out and get busy cutting. good go ahead and get the bottom marked here I'll just take a jigsaw rough cut it out then I'd be real exact okay I'll head out and I'll get this cut Too bad for a jigsaw and a 12 volt skill saw. <laughs> that's what RVing's all about. Use what you got. Anyway, that's going to look good. I'm going to sand down the edges good and then paint it. But that'll screw right on there and make a nice surface. Perfect. Using the 
black oil-based uh, rust-oleum enamel. Let this soak in and give it two or three coats. Because this is just old plywood, nothing fancy. Okay, put this down, let her dry. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and make the base for the battery box. See, I got the four bolt holes from the seats. I'm going to try to utilize at least two of them to help hold this in. And once again, this is just plain old plywood. Try to get an idea. What I have out here is an old battery. I'm going to grab it real quick set it in here and we'll get a few measurements before I cut anything. See how it looks. See this battery here is no good, just out of the motor home. I haven't turned it in yet. But those AGMs are the exact size of this. I'm going to put two batteries in this box. I'm going to oversize the box Hopefully get it up about right there. Trim it so it stays within that uh, plastic molding there. See the battery is about 11 inches. We'll call it 12 to oversize it. So I'm probably going to make this wood 16 inches I think going across and once again the goal is not to restrict the opening of the engine cover in case I have to get in there so I think 16 inches will be pretty good this cut and then we'll figure out the length oversized. I don't want it too tight because there will be sides and this is going to be a box with a lid on it. So let me uh, get the length cut and I'll be back. Okay, there it is pretty good. Before I mount it, I'm going to make the actual box. I'm not going to do that today. I think the top for the engine cover is dry. Let's go ahead and get that mounted. We'll call it a day. Alright, I'm just using the one inch self-tapping screws. I'm going to put six of them in there. really makes it solid and all those uh, mounts, electronic mounts, will fit great. And, and voila, it is in there. Looking good. Definitely usable there. Okay, the mount. It's kind of nice I'm moving this over anyway. It was always in the way of the controls for the air conditioner, the heater. That's about where it'll sit. Go ahead and get this mounted. I'm just 
was using short half inch self tappers. See, there's the radio, satellite radio, about right in there somewhere. And then that's where the phone will sit. Should work out great. Very easy access, won't affect driving, anything like that. Okay, let me get these fastened down real quick. All right, I know it's a small start, but it's a start in the right direction. I got to fight off the weather for a day or two after that big storm. But hey, we started. All right, the van build continues. This is Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't get travel safe. I'm gonna check this off the list.